This is a song from Eminem called Role Model. It's a rap text uh, and it's from 1999. Um, and uh, what I'm gonna talk about today is um, the title of the song, how it um, influenced your view of the song, and um, a little bit about how he speaks Eminem. Um, and then later on I will talk about the characters because he name drops a lot, which we will hear about later. And then, alas, of course, his language, which is both vulgar and sarcastic, as well as informative. Um, and at the very end, I will um, conclude the whole speech, so to say. Um, so yeah, um, the title role model um yeah first of all when you just hear this the word i would associate with um, a person people look up to like a better person who sets an example to other people um and i might predict that this song will have something to do with Eminem being a role model, maybe to kids or something. But knowing him as a writer, like Eminem as a writer, um, it would probably suggest a more critical view of the word role model. Um, or so to speak. But we don't know anything yet. Now we will continue to how Eminem speaks in role model um, because the way he lays his pressure on the words along with the aggressive vocabulary gives an almost spitting effect you can really feel how angry and sarcastic he really is like when when he says I'm a even to the score equally, take on your Jerry Springer and beat your ass legally. He says it like he's making fun of it as well as he's very angry. Now we move along to the characters, to the name dropping I just told you about. Because in the whole text he uses a lot of names to emphasize this character that he's building up around himself as him being a everything else than a, a role model like an anti-role model actually <clears throat> being this sarcastic person for example he um he name drops a, this rapper called Cannabis, who is said about that he has others to write his raps, which he says right here, if you responded back with a battle rap you wrote from Cannabis, I strangle you to death, then I choke you again. This is referring to how he doesn't like others to write their songs for them yeah but he also name drops a lot of political characters like jerry springer who is a host on his own tv show called the jerry springer show which is very controversial and um he's also a democrat um but there's also people like the president um which was uh, bill clinton and his wife hillary clinton um along with the political characters there's also of course a lot of rappers that he um disses like vanilla ice which was a white rapper from the 80s 
Um, and then and there's uh, Garth Brooks, who's a country singer, and uh, then there's Lauren Hill, who's a beautiful singer songwriter and a rapper, um, and Cage, who's also a rapper. But there's also like cartoon characters like Chicken Saw and Foghorn, Leghorn. Um, yeah, so like I said, all these names gives you an idea for the person he tries to describe himself as. Um, yeah. And now we'll move on to the language of the text because everything in this text screams offensive. Um, which is it's supposed to be because he creates all this image how bad he really is and how you should not see him as a role model. I mean, like he refers himself to Norman Bates from the American Psycho as like he is as normal as him. Um, yeah. So throughout the text, he said he's all about smashing bones and doing everything you should you should not do. From yeah, like I said, from smashing bones to brawling to doing drugs, drop out of school, and like when he says here. Spray an acerol can of the ozone layer, so he doesn't even care about the the environment, eh? And all of this concludes that his point of all this is that you should not see him as a role model, but you should see yourself. You should see for yourself and just be yourself and see how bad he is. Yeah, that's it.